नमस्कार आय डॉक्टर मोहित सोहानी एच यू टी रिसर्च एंड हेड के डी सेल एक्सपीरियंस लाइक टू गिव यू ग्लिम्स ऑफ पी जी प्रोग्राम एट शारदा यूनिवर्सिटी एट शारदा यूनिवर्सिटी द डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलासफी प्रोग्राम इज डिजाइन टू कल्टिवेट एडवांस रिसर्च क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग एंड स्पेशलाइज नॉलेज अक्रॉस अ वाइड स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ फील्ड डिसिप्लिन If I talk about Shardar University, it's a multi-disciplinary university. We have 14 schools, various departments, starting from engineering, basic sciences, dental, medical, humanities, law, management, architecture, design. So, being a multi-disciplinary and interdisciplinary university, it's an opportunity to a scholar to choose their field as per the requirement, as per the requirement of society. as per the requirement of industry a student of health sciences i uh, want to use ai tool so what he required he required a mentor from computer science engineering department it would be possible at shardar university being a multidisciplinary university we have computer science department and therefore a student of health sciences can take a mentor from computer science engineering department understand what ai tool is and can use the ai tool for the research in health sciences department similarly we have architecture department we have civil engineering department we have mechanical engineering department these departments also require advanced ai tools to improve the quality of their research if i talk about the highlights of the university the first and foremost highlight of the university being a multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary university we have various departments and therefore the student the researcher can increase the quality of research using different tools which may be possible only in a multidisciplinary university second very important uh, highlight of the university is being a multidisciplinary university we have more than 1000 faculty members in the department working in different field working in different research areas and therefore the student has an opportunity to take the help from different faculty members having research experience in different fields and therefore the quality of the research may be very high third very important highlight of the university is the university is providing incentives to the faculty member and the students and motivating them to have good quality publications for example if a if a faculty member publish a paper in nature and equivalent journal 1 lakh rupees per publication would be given to the faculty member similarly if we talk about q1 journal it's again a very good quality journal if a faculty member publish a paper in q1 journal 50000 rupees per publication will be given to the faculty member it will motivate the faculty member as well as to the student to have a good quality research and publication in a good quality journal next very important highlight of the university is if a student is working in a field where he is designing something where he is making some device then the university is also providing a facility to the scholar that he can publish patent and the entire expenditure will be borne by the university in addition to this if the patent get published 5000 rupees per patent will be given to the faculty member as well as if it get granted the 25000 rupees will be given to the faculty member as well as to the student one more important facility that would be given by the university to the student as well as to his mentor is if that patent which is granted the device which is made by the student in his or her research work is commercialized then 100% of the benefit would be given to the student and his or her mentor one more very important benefit that is provided by the shardar university to the scholars and the mentors is suppose if a student want to pursue his research in very new field where the facilities may not be available in the campus then the financial support in the form of a seed fund may be given to the scholar as well as to the faculty if i talk about the eligibility criteria how to take the admission in phd program at shardar university shardar university being a private state university follow the ordinance of ugc 2016 and as per the ordinance a student should have done masters program and should have obtained a percentage of 55 or equivalent cgpa to take admission in phd program very recently uh, there is a guidelines we get from ugc that in those courses where the ugc conduct csir or ugc net 
in those programs the student has to qualify in that exam for taking admission in phd program whereas in other disciplines where the ugc and csi do not conduct the entrance exam there the admission can be done through the entry exam at university level followed by interview with these few points i will motivate the students that university being a multidisciplinary university providing a opportunity to the scholars to explore various fields where the research is possible that student should fill the form of the university it is available on website sharda university website which is www.sharda.ac.in the last date to fill the form is 21st of december 2024 so i will request all the students if they want to have a good quality research they can fill the form before the last date which is 21st of december 2024 thank you